And so uh, let's start out. So we go feet shoulder width, nice big loop, and we gently turn one, two, three, 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 one, two, and Reaching over, one, two, three, 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 one, two, and three. Raising the arms, stretching gently towards the floor, one, two, three. To your right, two, three. To your left, two, three. Middle once, inhale, and exhale. And again, one, two, three. To your right, two, three. To your left, two, three. Middle once, inhale, and exhale. And one more time. One, two, three. To your right, two, three. To your left, two, three. Middle once, we stand up, inhale, and exhale. Oh, hold on just one sec, I just want to check. So uh, Karen, can you hear me? Is the audio okay? I, you're muted. Okay, just wanted to make sure that you could hear me all right. Awesome. All right, hands on the waist. Rotation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, and two, and we switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, and two. Crossing the hands, knees, gentle circles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, and two. We switch hands and directions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, and two. Hands on the waist. We're going to turn the head side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, and two. Back and forth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One and two, tilting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One and two, rotation, looking all the way around. One, two, three, and we switch. One. Two and three. Opening up the feet. Arms out, turning the waist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, and four. Very good. Hands on the waist. We're going to step out to an empty stance. Right foot forward. Good. We're going to gently shift forward, back, forward, back. We pivot, shift, pivot, forward, back, forward, back. Pivot, shift, pivot, forward, back, forward, back. Okay, so something I want to point out, I may, I believe I mentioned it last week, but just because we talk about it doesn't mean that it happens, right? And so the shifting forward, everyone's doing very nicely going forward. We're bending that front leg. We're straightening the rear. When we sit back, we're not really bending the back leg, which means that the kind of hip kicks out and we don't really get to a position where the predominance of our weight is on the back leg. So just like when I go forward, I have to not only bend my front knee, but I have to shift the weight forward and kind of accept the weight forward as though I'm going to take a step. When I sit back, I have to bend that knee to make sure I take enough of the weight off of this foot. If I don't bend that knee, you see how the hip gets kind of tight and kind of max out the space that you have to go back. But if you bend the knee, so if this leg stays straight and I straighten this one, that's what happens. So I want to make sure that when I sit back, I drop onto that rear leg. Yeah, so I want to bend that rear knee. So we're going forward, back, forward, back, we pivot. Pivot, forward, back, forward, back. Pivot, shift, pivot, forward, back, forward, back. Pivot, shift, pivot, forward, back, forward, and back, very good, we shake it out, keep breathing, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, one more time, inhale, and exhale, very good, hands on the waist, shoulder rolls, going back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, one, and two. Going forward, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, and two. Now we're going to inhale and exhale with the arm swing. Inhale on the upstroke, exhale on the down, all through the nose. Very good, keep breathing. Inhale again, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Let's make a circle with the wrists. Very good. Let's change direction. We come over the top and down the middle. Very nice.
very good. Both palms down. Big circle. One, two, and vertical up. Switch. One, two, vertical up. Switch. One, two, and up. Nice. One, two, and up. One, two, and up. One, two, and up. Very good. Both palms facing down, bend the knees slightly. You want your feet parallel to each other. Shoulder width. We're going to gently shift to the left. Lift the weight off of the right foot. Bring it in. Out. In. Out. Shift to the right. Lift. Bring it in. Out. In. Out. Shift. 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 Lift. Bring it in. Out. And in. Very good. So now we're going to put all of our weight on our right leg. We're going to reach back lightly touching with the left foot. We're going to bring the left hand forward. And now we're going to bring the switch arms. So swing your right hand to the front as the left foot comes forward. The left hand goes back and we switch. 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 Very good. Continue. It will definitely help you to bend the supporting leg, the leg that you're standing on, not the leg that's swinging, because if that leg is straight, it's going to affect your balance a lot more. So if you bend that knee slightly, it's going to help to keep balance. Very good. Let's switch. We'll put all our weight on the left. Put the right foot back, right hand forward. And we swing. Excellent. Let's put all our weight on the right foot. Put the left foot out to the side. Both hands to the right. And we bring the hands across as we come in. Out. Good. Very good. Let's switch. Put all your weight on your left foot. Bring the right foot out to the side. Both hands to the left. And the hands come across as we come in. And out. Very good. Take it out. Keep breathing. Very good. So we're going to put our right foot toe facing the front. Touch the arch of our left foot to the heel of the right foot and step straight out with the left foot. So make sure when you step straight out, if you guys can see on the floorboards here, 
that my heels are touching, I step straight out. I don't want to bring that foot over this way or out that way, but straight out. That's pretty good. Now, just as a quick reminder, our body wants to naturally align itself to the direction of the foot that has weight on it. So right now, if I put all my weight on my right leg and I relax my hips, if your hips are tight, they're not going to move at all. But if I relax my hips, my body tends to face to this direction that this toe is pointed to. When I shift to my left, once the weight is on that foot, I don't want to turn prematurely. I want to keep my body facing the front. And then once I've shifted the weight, if I relax the hip, my body ends up facing that side. If I sit back, relax the hip, my body faces this side. I shift, relax the hip, and face this side. So what I don't want to do is kind of turn prematurely because you become kind of what we would call out of phase with the movement, right? So what that means is that the waist and the legs are not working together the way they're designed to because the way it's designed to work is I have weight on that foot, my body faces that way. I put the weight on this foot, my body faces this way. If when I come back, if I turn first and then shift, then I've gone out of phase, right? So the most natural way you can move is if you shift your weight first and then allow the body to find its alignment. So again, we shift to the left, relax, turn. Sit back on the right, relax, turn. Shift to the left, turn. Sit back on the right, turn. Very good. Now with all our weight on the right leg, we're going to put the right hand at the left shoulder and the left hand at the right hip. Yep. So uh, Karen, just make sure that your left foot is the one that's in front. Yep, there we go. And the right hand to the left shoulder, left hand to right hip. It's, by the way, just a quick note to those who are joining us on Zoom. Mirror image on Zoom is even a little bit different than mirror image in the physical space. So just be kind to yourself. If you get it confused here or there, it's 100% par for the course and something that you can expect it will happen, but it will improve. So we have all our weight on the right leg, right hand to the shoulder, left hand to the hip. We shift, lift with the left, draw down with the right, and then release, turn, draw down with the left. Right hand to the shoulder. We sit back, left hand to the hip, shift it to the left, lift the left, draw down with the right, turn, draw down with the left. Right hand to the shoulder, sit back, left hand to the hip, shift to the left, lift the left, draw down with the right, turn, draw down with the left. Right hand to the shoulder, sit back, left hand to the hip, shift to the left, lift the left, draw down with the right, turn, draw down with the left. Very good. Let's try the other side. So we're going to point our left foot straight, straight ahead towards the front of the class. So you want your left foot to be 90 degrees, toe pointed directly to the front of the class. Not towards me necessarily because you're over there. So if you straighten your foot towards the front. If you wanted to run, if you wanted to walk straight towards the front of the stage, not coming towards me, you would point that toe a little more. Yeah, there you go. That's it. And now we're going to step straight out with the right foot. Yep. And again, if you if you open your stance a little wider than you think is natural to you, you'll actually find that you're more stable. Because if the closer I put my feet together, when I go to shift, I run out of kind of real estate for balance pretty quickly. But if I step out a little wider, it gives me a little more room to travel there. So I shift to the right, turn to the left. Sit back on the left, turn to the left. Good. Shift to the right, turn to the right. Sit back on the left, turn to the left. Shift to the right, turn to the right. Sit back on the left, turn to the left. Very good. So for those on Zoom, we want to make sure our left foot is facing the front or facing the screen. And we're going to step out to the right hand side with our right foot. So we should be going that way. Okay. So we're going to go left hand to the shoulder, right hand to the hip. Shift to the right, lift the right, draw down with the left, draw down with the right. Left hand to the shoulder, sit back, right hand to the hip. Shift to the right, lift the right, draw down with the left, turn, draw down with the right. Left hand to the shoulder, sit back, right hand to the hip. Shift to the right, lift the right, draw down with the left, turn, draw down with the right. Left hand to the shoulder, sit back, right hand to the hip. Shift to the right, lift the right, draw down with the left, turn, draw down with the right. One last thing just to mention about this 
particular movement, and also it's the same in part the horse's mane, is that we don't want to overreach with the arms. You want to hinge, the pivot point should be the elbow. So I'm not trying to stretch this hand out. I'm just trying to pivot at that elbow. I sit back and here, I shift. Then I lift, draw down, shoulder, hip, shift, lift. See how it's not out here, it's here. Draw down, draw down, shoulder, hip, shift, lift, draw down, turn, draw down. Very good. All right, so next we're gonna lightly touch with the left toe. We're gonna cross the wrist with the left hand in front and we wanna start with our shoulders square to the front. We're gonna lift the elbows to horizontal, extend the left hand to the front and turn the waist to the corner. Drop the elbows to vertical, turn back to the front. Very good. Lift, extend left hand to the front, turn to the corner. Drop the elbows, turn back to the front. Lift, horizontal elbow, open. Vertical elbow, close. Horizontal elbow, open. Vertical elbow, close. Horizontal elbow, open. Vertical elbow, close. And one more time, horizontal elbow, open. Vertical elbow and close. Very nicely done all around. Let's switch feet. So we're going to lightly touch with the right toe, cross with the right hand on the outside, lift horizontal elbow, extend the right hand to the front, turn to the corner, drop the elbows, turn back to the front, close. Lift, open, vertical, close. Horizontal elbow, open, vertical elbow, close. Horizontal elbow, open, vertical elbow, close, horizontal elbow, open, and vertical elbow, close. Very good. Any questions so far? No questions, no worries. All right. Feet shoulder width. We're going to do preparation now. So we're going to gently raise the arms, shoulder height, drop the elbows, the hands travel back to the chest, and we press straight down. We repeat. Lift. Draw down, press seven. Lift, draw down, press seven. Lift, draw down, press settle. Lift, draw down, press settle. Very good, low hoop. We're simply gonna hold the low hoop position, breathe deeply and gently, trying to get rid of any tension we might notice in the body. So for anyone who's wondering uh, online, the reason that I'm wearing this light jacket here is because we have the window open. Although I have to say for January, first week of January, I can't complain about the temperature and it allows us some fresh air in here. So that's a good thing. All the social distancing measures and all that. So trying to keep everyone safe. Now we go shoulder height, nice big hoop. Good, let's drop the elbows, holding the small ball. Very good. Elbows out, bring the palms down, straighten your arms, legs, and spine. Straighten the wrist, fingers towards the forearms, just kind of drape off the shoulders. We're standing tall but relaxed. Breathing. Very good. So we're going to step out again. It's going to be that same stance. We step out with the left foot to the left side. But this time we want to kick the heel out so that our left foot is facing the corner. Yep, so 45 exactly. So now remember. As a, as a general rule, your body wants to align itself to the direction of the foot that has weight on it. So if my weight's on my right leg, my body's facing this way. And when I shift my weight to my left, because my left toe is now facing the corner, my body tends to stop at the corner. It doesn't go all the way to the mountain. 
So if we sit back, we turn to the front, we shift and release, turn to the corner. We sit back, turn to the front, we shift, release, turn to the corner, sit back, and we turn to the front. Very good. Right hand to the shoulder, left hand to the hip. Remember, these hands are just going to pass each other on that 45 degree angle, and we're still going to pivot from the elbow position, so we're not going to reach out to extend the arm. So we shift, release the, the hip, and turn the waist. We stop at the corner, we sit back, reset hip and shoulder, shift, release, turn, sit back, 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 hip and shoulder. Very good. Let's try the other side. That was nicely done. So again, we're going to step out with the right foot this time, and then make sure that right foot's facing the corner. The reason I tell you to step out first is that otherwise what you're much more likely to do is this, and that kind of puts you off your position. So you want to still step out in a straight line and then pivot to the corner. Very good. So we shift to the right, release, turn to the right corner, sit back on the left, turn to the left. Shift to the right, release, turn to the right corner, sit back on the left, turn to the left. Shift to the right, turn to the right, sit back on the left, turn to the left. Very good. So we're going to go left hand to the shoulder, right hand to the hip. And again, make sure when we go to the right, we're going to raise the right hand up. We shift to the right, right hand comes up. Sit back, close, left hand to the shoulder, shift to the right, shift to the right, sit back, reset, shift to the right, turn to the right, sit back, reset, shift to the right, turn to the right, sit back, reset. So just as a quick reminder, what goes up must come down and vice versa. So the hand that's at the hip is the one that's going to come up, right? So if I'm going to go to my right, and I'm going to raise my right hand as the high hand from the low position, that means that my right hand has to be the hip and the left hand at the shoulder so that when I shift to my right, my right hand comes up and my left hand comes down. Good. So bring your right hand to your hip, not the shoulder. Yep. Left hand to the shoulder. There you go. Now you shift open, sit back, reset, shift open, sit back, Reset, shift, open, sit back, reset, shift, open, sit back, reset. So I often joke about this, that we walk into a Tai Chi class, we know our right and our left. When we walk out, we're not so sure anymore, right? So that's just, but that's the nature of the complexity of what we're trying to do, right? So that has actually a cognitive benefit um, it has a benefit to coordination, all kinds of benefits. So it's a challenge. And there are definitely going to be times when, especially mirror image, right? Even though you couldn't necessarily see what my hands were doing, if I was with my back to you, when you got to this side, you know which hand was up, which hand was down faster, right? But mirror image, your brain has to do the calculation. Wait, which side is that? And so that extra layer of complexity can be the thing that kind of throws us off track. The good news is that kind of struggling through that has its, its benefit to our practice and our ability and all of that stuff. So it's ultimately a good thing. Okay, so let's do deep breathing again. Very good. Now, earlier in class, we did the circle, both hands at the same time. I want to just remind you that when we're doing this circle, we don't just bring the hands straight down against the body, right? We go here, and when we bring the hands down, they're actually, the wrists are bent, and it's like my hands are resting on a counter that's the height of my hip. And then I come up and down, up and down. So when we're doing this next exercise, which is wave hands like clouds, we want to do the same thing, but we're just going to do the right hand first. 
And we want to make sure that we're not lifting the hand up here. It's the same size as that circle is the same size as it was before. And also, if you notice that this hand doesn't just go flat, but it lands on that invisible counter on its way through. Very good. Now let's try the left. So we put the leg down, we do the left hand. Very good. Now we're going to do the right, followed by the left, followed by the right, followed by the left, followed by the right, followed by the left. Very good. So now we're going to, of course, it's Tai Chi. We have to add turning the waist and the body to it. So we're in this position. We pick up the right and we turn to the right corner. We put the right down, pick up the left, and we turn to the left corner. Both hands travel with the body. Left hand comes down, pick up the right, turn to the right. Right hand comes down, pick up the left, turn to the left. Left hand comes down, pick up the right, turn to the right. Right hand comes down, pick up the left, turn to the left. Left hand comes down, pick up the right, turn to the right. And right hand comes down, pick up the left, turn to the left. Very nicely done. Now we're going to do that low hoop again. This time we're going to lift that hoop up, palms out, drop the elbows cross in the middle, and back down to low hoop. We have low hoop, we lift up, palms out, drop the elbows across, low hoop. Lift, palms out, drop the elbows across, low hoop. Lift, palms out, drop the elbows across, low hoop. Lift, palms out, drop the elbows across, and low hoop. Very good. Shoulder height with that hoop. We're going to put the thumbs down, palms out. And we're going to trace that figure eight pattern. It's a figure eight on its side parallel to the body. So here we go. Out and in. Very good. Out, in. Out, in. Out, in. Out, in. Out. Out. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, and in. Very good. Palms up, waist high. We're going to bring the elbows out, complete the circular motion, gather the two fists, and extend. Again, palms up, form the circle, form the fist, extend. Palms up, form the circle, form the fist, and extend. Palms up, form the circle, form the fist, and extend. Very good. Neutral position, both hands together, strum the loop. So if you recall, we had two iterations of this. We're going to do both, but we'll start with the first one, which is the one we're more familiar with. We have our triangle position, fingertips the height of the nose. We're going to draw straight down with the right hand to the height of the navel, and back around. Draw down with the left and back around. Draw down with the right and back around. Draw down with the left, back around. Draw down with the right, back around. Draw down with the left and back around. Good. So that's the first iteration. Another version of that, which kind of just builds on what we just did, we draw down with the right just like we did in the first version. And this time, as we bring the right hand up and around, we're going to let, let the left hand come down to the center, making room. So we're going to bring the left hand around. We're going to bring the right hand down to make room. So right hand comes over top. Left hand comes over top. Right hand comes over top. Left hand comes over top. Right hand comes over top. And left hand comes over top. Very good. So this is actually how we make the transition from one movement to the next in the form. As an example, if I'm in flying diagonally and I step up, I step out, I don't just bring this hand up. I bring my left hand to the center and then my right hand comes over the top so that this one intercepts whatever's coming in. It maintains the center line and gives time for the other hand to come up and then I'm in my proper position there to do the next thing. So that's how we make that transition. Two important things are that we maintain the center line so that we're not going out here, right? 
that we're able to maintain the center line, and that we relax the body. If we're really stiff in the shoulders, it becomes pretty hard to even bring the hands down. But if we can relax the body, it just becomes so much easier to move. Good. Excellent. Now we're going to round out with our right arm, palm facing us, left palm against the right palm, and we alternate the elbow position and move from the shoulder. We want to make sure we do this as relaxed as we can. Very good. Let's switch. Round out with the left, right palm against the left palm, and we all. Very good. Back to neutral position. I'm going to come a little bit closer. I may cut off some of my head, but nobody needs to see my face anyway. So <laughs> when we're here, we're going to turn towards the right and then turn back to the middle. We turn towards the left and back to the middle. So as a reminder, there are two waist turns for each side, right? We turn to the left and then back to the middle. So when we turn back to the middle, the body should be facing the front of the class. We turn to the right and then we turn back to the middle, the body's facing the front of the class. So both shoulders should be aligned this way. Yep, we turn to the left, turn back to the middle, turn to the right, turn back to the middle, good. Now, if it's possible for you, um, actually, Karen, that's very nice. Your alignment there is really good. So if it's possible, we want to also ensure that the hand is the same height as the arm. So what I mean by that is I draw back. I want to make sure that this hand is the same height as this. So we use an analogy of drawing a bow, right? So drawing a bow and arrow. It would be really hard for you to pull back on that string and then drop your hand down without tipping your arm up, right? So if you think about this, our arm has to be in line with that arrow, which means the elbow and this arm are at the same height. Yep, so you wanna raise your left elbow a little higher. There you go. Now when we turn to the left and we turn back to the middle, same thing. Yeah, turn to the right, back to the middle, turn to the left, and turn back to the middle. Very good. All right, so uh, we're going to open the feet, point the toes out to the corners. And when I say corners, I mean just 45 degrees in reference to you, because the corners of the room would depend on where you were in the room. Okay, we're going to cross the wrists, lift, and make a big circle with the arms. Cross, lift, big circle. Cross, lift, big circle, cross, lift, big circle, cross, lift, big circle. Very good. Now we're going to do the same thing, and we've already kind of automated this. We shouldn't have to think too much about what the arms are doing. We're going to turn to the right corner, cross, lift, and as we make our big circle, turn back to the middle. Now separate movement, turn to the left, cross, lift. As we make our big circle, turn back to the middle. Good, turn to your right, cross, lift, big circle, turn to the middle. Turn to your left, cross, lift, big circle, turn to the middle. Good, turn to your right, cross, lift, big circle, turn to the middle. And turn to your left, cross, lift, big circle, turn to the middle. Very nicely done. Okay, so feet shoulder width. We're gonna cross with the right hand on the outside. We're gonna lift the right hand and press with the left. We're going for a stretch of the spine. And we release and switch. 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 And switch. Very good, deep breathing. Very good. So as I always ask, um, and there's no pressure to have a question, but if you do have a question, uh, I'm available to answer any questions. <laughs> yep, as I figured, <laughs> not a problem. 
no worries at all. If anything comes up, you, it's always your prerogative to change your mind and ask a question. So I'd like to jump in again. We've kind of been building on this experience of doing the seated version, the standing version, and then the standing version with the mapping of the footwork. And so I think that this is useful from a perspective of memorizing the form sequence because as we know, the form sequence is long and complex, and this is the short version of the Tai Chi form. It has 37 postures. The long form has 108. Uh, and, and many of those movements are repeated. So you're probably doing many more movements for the entire form. Um, so from a perspective of memory, it can be a really daunting challenge. And we very often will gauge our progress with how much of this can I do on my own? That's a natural thing, right? If, if, I, if I go to a math class um, and I can't do any of the problems on my own when the teacher's not there with me, I'll think, well, maybe I don't know it as well as I want. So it's not an unreasonable benchmark. The reality is that whether or not you can remember the sequence um, on your own, the really important thing, the main takeaway from all this is to move, right? If we're not moving, Stagnation equals, you know, death or at least injury. And so the more that we move our body the way our body is designed, the more we're going to benefit our body and our health. And that's really the primary reason that most people would do Tai Chi, uh, even though it is a martial art and there's all kinds of other stuff that go along with it. Um, but in our pursuit of memorizing these kind of complex sequences of movement, if we can take out of it the the element of balance for a minute. So we sit in a chair, we're not worried about our balance at all. We can really focus on experiencing those postures in their proper order. And that can help us to remember. And then we do it standing. So we have a little bit of the balance, but again, we're not doing the mapping of the footwork. By the time we get to the part where we're doing the mapping of the footwork with the legs, where we're stepping from one side to the other side, it's just like doing this before we turn and do this version, we're trying to automate those other elements. Okay? So I'd like to do with a chair, um, everybody's got a chair handy. Yep. All right. Very good. So we'll go a little bit farther sequentially than we went last time. I think last time we did the brush knee, we did the, the form, the circle, the punch, the leopard and tiger springs to mountain. I think we got to fist under elbow. So we'll go to the next section of the form as well today, okay? And again, just as a reminder, we wanna try to make sure we're not sitting back on the back of the chair, but that we're sitting forward, both feet are flat and our spine is straight. The body is supporting, um, your skeleton is gonna support the, the body by sitting up straight. If I'm like this, it's a lot harder to keep that balance. So if I can sit up vertically, that does help. So from here, we start the form preparation. We raise the arms up, draw the elbows down, press. Good. Neutral position, left hand on top. Good. Horizontal elbow with the left, palm against palm. That's beginning style on the left. I'll say the names of the postures as well just because the more you hear them, the more it kind of helps with memory. We're gonna alternate the elbow and draw diagonally down with the right hand that's flying diagonally on the left hand side because the left hand's to the high knee. We bring the left hand to the center. And now just like we were doing, bring the right hand over the top. Good, horizontal elbow with the right, palm against palm, it's beginning style on the right. This is grasp the sparrow's tail. We extend the right arm out square, connect at the wrist, draw down diagonally to the hip. Left palm up, push the right hand to the right hip, lift the hand to the shoulder and we push forward. Good, we hook the right hand, turn to the right corner, leave the right hand there and we come across single whip. Center with the left hand and low, center with the right hand and high, holding the ball, cross at the wrist, left hand comes up, right hand comes down, flying diagonally on the left side again, good. Left hand to the center, and then again, the right hand comes over the top, neutral position. Horizontal elbow with the right, palm against palm. We're gonna raise the right hand as we press with the left. We gently bend forward, turn to the left, and we come back up with both arms in a hoop shape. Stork flaps wing. 
Now we're going to go neutral position with the left hand on top. We're going to palm out with the left. Sorry, I got a hitch under this mask here. Palm out with the left, round out to the outside with the right. So with our left palm facing out, we want to bring our right arm out to the outside of that. Good. Now we're going to turn to the right corner, alternate the elbow, draw straight down with the left hand, turn to the front, adjust your left elbow, and palm out with your right hand. Very good. We go back to neutral position on the left hand side, palm out with the left, round out to the outside with the right. Good. Turn to the right. Alternate, draw straight down with the left, turn to the front, adjust your left elbow, right palm out. Neutral position for the third time, left hand on top, then we go horizontal elbow with the left, palm against palm, it's beginning style on the left, into brush knee on the left. So we turn to the left, alternate, draw straight down, turn to the front, adjust your right elbow and palm out with your left. Good, neutral position on the right. Horizontal elbow with the right, palm against palm, into brush knee on the right. Turn, alternate, draw straight down with the left hand, turn to the front, and we palm out with the right. Neutral position, left hand on top again. This time we're gonna turn 45 degrees with the waist, palm up with the left hand, and turn back to the front. That's called strum the loop. We turn both palms over so they're facing out, and we extend the arms out and then retract. Okay, that's called close the door. Now we're gonna go right palm face up, form a circle with the right arm. As we make a fist, we're gonna turn the waist, drawing that fist back, and we turn back to the front, punching to the center with the left hand meeting the forearm. Now we're gonna withdraw again, turning 45, raise your left elbow and turn to the left corner. Drop your right elbow to vertical, turn to the right corner, and now turn back to the front, punching to the center. So your punch should come straight to the front. Yep, and your left hand should be resting the palm against the palm, good. And now we're gonna make a circle with the left hand coming underneath the right arm, and now drop both elbows, turn the palms over, leopard and tiger springs to mouth, very good. We go neutral position, left hand on top, we turn to the right corner, both hands waist high, turn back to the front. Neutral position, left hand on top, again, this time we're gonna make both hands fists, Relax the shoulder, wrist, and elbow, and we're going to turn the waist 45, which is going to put the left elbow on top of the right fist. It's called fist under elbow. Now we turn back to the center neutral position. Good. So this next section we're going to do is something that we've done pre-COVID, where we made it all the way through the form a few times. This is the next section. It's called Repulse the Monkey. Normally, this would have the added challenge of us having to take backward steps. But we're not going to be taking any steps, so this should be a little bit easier anyway. So we're in this neutral position, left hand on top. We're going to go horizontal elbow with the left, palm against palm. That's beginning style on the left. Now we're going to go from there into brush knee on the left. We turn, alternate, draw straight down with the right hand, turn to the front, adjust your right elbow, and palm out with the left. Neutral position, right hand on top. We go beginning style on the right. So right elbow is horizontal, left palm against right palm, into brush knee on the right. So we turn to the right, alternate, draw straight down with the left, turn to the front, adjust the left elbow, right palm out, good. Neutral position, left hand on top, horizontal elbow with the left, palm against palm, beginning style on the left, into brush knee on the left. We turn, alternate, draw straight down, Turn to the front, adjust your right elbow, and palm out with your left. Good. Neutral position, right hand on top. Now we're going to hold the ball with the right hand on top. So you want one hand stacked directly on top of the other. Good. Now we're going to cross the wrist with the right hand on top, and we're going to do flying diagonally. Left hand comes up, right hand comes down. Very good. Now we're going to go back to neutral position, left hand on top. So we have the high hand and the low hand. What we're gonna do is called insert the needle. Normally we would do this where we lift one knee and stand on one foot, but much easier in the chair here. The hands are gonna pass each other vertically. So we switch and switch. Let's try that a couple of times. Left hand comes down, right hand comes up. Right hand comes down, left hand comes up. Good. So we keep that center line position. So we switch down and then switch again. Good, we're gonna cross the wrist with the left hand on top. We're gonna to turn to the left corner, 
raise the hands up, make the big circle, turn back to the middle. This is called fan through the back. So your right hand's above the head and your left hand should be pushing out to the left side. Good. We're gonna make a fist with the right hand, go to the vertical elbow. And we're gonna stroke down with this fist like a hammer right to the center. And we're gonna bring our left hand to the floor. So we go from here to here. Good. From here, we're gonna raise our left elbow, turn to the left corner and bring your right fist through the space between your hand and the body. So between the chest right here, we bring this fist to vertical and we're gonna turn to the front, pressing down with the left hand. Very good. So that's called lock, parry, and punch. Right? So one thing to note, this is a vertical position, right? And if I don't turn my waist, I would hit myself, which would be a terribly dumb thing to do. So as this comes down, I turn. Now you notice when I turn, the elbow is going to bend. It puts the back of the fist towards the front when I turn back. So it's really, we're making a circle. We're going here and here. We stroke down vertically, turn and turn. Stroke down vertically, turn and turn. Very good. So this hand from out here, it's gonna come to the center vertical, elbow out, turn. And lastly, pressing down when we turn back to the front. So that one's a little bit different. Right? It comes from the side to the center, elbow out, the side, and then to the front, pressing down. So when we put those together, we have left hand out to the side, right hand above the head. We're going to make a fist with the right hand as we stroke vertically down. Left hand comes to the center as well, so that we want to bring this fist down. We're going to raise our left elbow and turn to the left corner. We bring the fist with us, bring the fist through. And now as we turn back to the front, we're gonna press down with our left hand and that gives us that alignment. The back of the fist should be facing down. Yeah, very good. All right, so let's try again um, that repulse the monkey section. Uh, so that's the section, that's the newest part of what we're doing. And we'll see if we can get to here. Let me just give a quick time check. Yeah, we got six minutes, so that should be plenty of time to make it through that again. Uh, by the way, uh, just as a reminder, um, I have on my YouTube channel at Martial Arts for Life on YouTube, all of the exercises, there's a separate video for each exercise, and the recording is from here. Um, and then I also have um, the, the first section of the form done, you know, uh, seated, standing, and full, full mapping of the footwork. Uh, with the form. And then I also, I'm, I've uploaded the second section of the form in the seated standing and full mapping. And then after today's, I'll upload the third section. So these are things that you can also use as a resource to practice on your own. And it's free. You go to YouTube, subscribe to the channel, you'll get notified every time I upload a new one. And the nice thing is the way that I'm releasing those videos is in much shorter segments. So you don't have to wade through an hour long video to find what you might want to practice. You can just go to, okay, third section, that's the section we worked last time. I'll go practice that. Um, so anyway, hopefully that's something that will be helpful as a resource. So we're going to start here, neutral position, left hand on top. We go horizontal elbow with the left, palm against palm, beginning style on the left, into brush knee on the left. So we turn, Alternate, draw down with the right hand, turn to the front, adjust your right elbow and palm out with your left hand. Good, neutral position, right hand on top. Horizontal elbow with the right, palm against palm, it's beginning style on the right, into brush knee on the right. We turn to the right corner, alternate the elbow, draw straight down with the left hand, turn to the front, adjust the elbow, palm out with the right hand. Neutral position, left hand on top. Horizontal elbow, palm against palm, beginning style on the left, into brush knee on the left. We turn, alternate, draw straight down, turn to the front, adjust the elbow, and palm out with the left. Good, neutral position, right hand on top. We hold the ball, cross the wrist with the right hand on top, and now we're gonna fly diagonally on the left hand side. Very good. We come back to neutral position with the left hand on top. 
And now we're going to do insert the needle. So we switch the high hand with the low hand and the high hand with the low hand. Left hand's on top. We're going to cross with the left hand on top. Turn to the left corner, raise up above the head. As you make your big circle, turn back to the middle. So your right hand's above the head and your left hand is out to the side. We make a fist with the right hand. We're going to go to vertical elbow stroke straight down, excuse me, as we come forward with the left hand. Raise the left elbow, turn to the left corner, bring the fist through. And as you turn back to the front, press down with your left hand. That's pretty good. All right, let's try that again. So we're here, neutral position, left hand on top, horizontal elbow, palm against palm. That's beginning style on the left. We're going to do brush knee on the left. Turn, alternate, draw straight down, turn to the front, adjust the elbow, palm out with the left. Neutral position, right hand on top. Horizontal elbow, beginning style on the right, into brush knee on the right. We turn, alternate, draw straight down with the left hand, turn to the front, adjust the elbow, palm out with the right. Neutral position, left hand on top. Horizontal elbow with the left, palm against palm, that's beginning style on the left, into brush knee on the right. We turn, alternate, draw straight down with the right hand, turn to the front, adjust the elbow, and palm out with the left. Neutral position, right hand on top. Hold the ball with the right hand on top. Cross with the right wrist on top. Flying diagonally on the left hand side. Neutral position, left hand on top. We're going to insert the needle. So we switch and switch. Cross with the left hand on top. We turn to the left corner, raise the hands above the head. Make the big circle as you turn back to the middle. Left hand out to the side, right hand above the head. Make a fist with your right hand, go vertical elbow, stroke down as you bring your left hand to the forearm. Raise your left hand, turn to the left corner, bring the fist through, and turn back to the front, we press down. Pretty good. Let's try, I think we have just enough time, yeah. So we have one minute, so I'm going to say that's enough time. So let's try one time just this, that last section of the finger standing. Okay, so we're in our neutral position, left hand on top, horizontal elbow with the left, excuse me, right palm against the left palm, that's beginning style on the left, into brush knee on the left. So we're going to turn, alternate, draw down with the right hand, turn to the front, adjust your right elbow, palm out with the left hand. Neutral position with the right hand on top, horizontal elbow with the right, palm against palm, beginning style on the right, into brush knee on the right. So we turn, alternate, draw straight down with the left hand, turn to the front, adjust your elbow, and palm out to the right. Neutral position with your left hand on top. Horizontal elbow with the left, palm against palm, beginning style on the left, into brush knee on the right. We turn. Oh, excuse me. I don't know what that was. <laughs> alternate, draw straight down with your right hand, turn to the front, adjust your elbow, and palm out. Neutral position with the right hand on top. Hold the ball. Cross with the right hand on top, and then line diagonally, left hand on top. We come back to neutral position, left hand on top, and now we're going to do insert the needle. The hands pass each other. Good. Left hand on top. We turn to the left corner, raise the hands up, make a big circle as we turn to the middle. Right hands above the head, left hands out to the side. Make a fist with your right hand, vertical elbow, we stroke down. Raise your left elbow, turn to the corner, bring the fist through, and turn to the front, pressing down with the left. So this hand is a little bit tricky, but if we stroke down, turn, and continue back around towards the front. So it's a circular motion, but it's kind of running in this direction with the body. Pretty solid. All right, well, well done, everybody. First one back from uh, the new year. Hopefully, many more to come. Thank you very much. Pleasure. All right, everyone. Bye, Karen. <laughs>